<sighs> so it's Monday the 23rd of May uh, the ram pump delivery line was installed on Friday and uh, been doing some testing and stuff and um, it's really fully functional the ram pumps been running all by itself uh, since well before Friday but uh, pumping water up top since Friday at about a gallon a minute so we've delivered you know close to three or four thousand gallons in the past few days anyway um, I'm gonna give you the full walkthrough tour so that's the spring dam all along there we're gonna extend and deepen that and we're gonna take it higher also another eight inches or more up to get a little more vertical head out of it just because we can uh, that feeds down the two inch line the four inch line is for a future project be very excited <laughs> uh, I'm not going to disclose any more of that comes through a valve and union Union can be disconnected if the line needs to be worked on if there's issues valve can turn the pump on and off very simple valve flip um, it's a total of 151 feet of pipe 100 and 17 I think in two inch and 34 in inch and a half comes through the standpipe which is a three inch standpipe tried to show you water in this last time I guess it was really hard to see on the camera maybe we can get a better oh there we go now you can see it pulsing up and down I'm going to make sure you actually were able to see that in the last video, it was kind of hard to see. Anyway, it comes through the standpipe, which basically dissipates the shock wave so it doesn't travel up the rest of the 2-inch pipe and break the pipe apart over time or prevent the pump from functioning due to interference shock waves. This whole system actually works off a combination of hydraulics, gravity, water hammer, and ultimately the valve closing creates a shock wave which is actually doing all the pumping work. And that shock wave operates at the speed of sound, and uh, that speed of sound varies dependent on the pipe material that you're made of. This is plastic. You can look up PVC speed of sound if you want to really look into logistics. This is the ram pump itself. Currently functioning. I explained how this works in the previous video, uh, so I'm not going to go into great detail on that. It is now hooked up to the delivery line. It goes out and goes all the way up the hill. And we'll walk you up that, and uh, I'll speed the video up so you don't have to sit through five minutes of walking uphill. And uh, the valve, you'll notice on this, is now wide open going out to delivery. And you'll see we're holding about 30 PSI. It's like about 31 PSI. And that pipe is delivering not only to the top of the hill, which is about 40 feet or 45, you know, or 41 feet above us from uh, the uh, elevation data that I can get. And, uh, and then it goes another 12 or 15 feet up into the top of the barn where it fills a 60 gallon drum for storage. So we always have a reservoir of 60 gallons we can pull from whenever we need it. I'll show you that up top when we get up there. Um, anyway, uh, there's not a whole lot more to this, except I should show you that uh, once this line is full, you'd be amazed how much water we can get out of this garden hose. I'm going to flip the garden hose on for a minute. As you can see, when I need water, I got it. You can hear the pump slowing down a little bit. But it's still rolling. And I can sustain that for quite a while. Just on the 18 gallons that's in the line between here and the delivery point. Anyway, we're... Uh, Sorry for the shake here, getting the camera mounted back on my hand. 
We're going to take her for a walk up the line and uh, we'll show you the preliminary setup up top. Uh, ultimately, this is like the primary project. Now that we have water delivery up top, now we can really get busy. There's lots of things to build off of that. Uh, stay tuned in the future. Lots of exciting projects that have come. For now, let's walk the 800 foot of three quarter inch delivery line. I'll show you how it kind of goes off through there. I'm going to go around the prickers. If you want to come and walk through the prickers, you're welcome to. Notice that is sleeved with two inch, it doesn't get crushed by vehicles driving over. This is a roadway here, so there's a sleeve set, not buried yet, but set. Hey birds! To where it splits. And goes on up the barn to fill the reservoir. And the overflow comes out of this and feeds off to other things. That's all future expansion stuff. And uh, so right now, it's uh, set up to shoot down and hit the water for the chickens. Uh, the barrel is just refilling because I just drained it again because I've been doing some work on it. But let me show you how much water we can deliver up here at any given time. One sec. There you go. That's coming out of the, uh, the 60 gallon drum reserve. So. If I had to guess, I'd say that's probably, that's probably 10 gallons a minute or so. We could sustain that for about six minutes. Give you time to wash out buckets, refill buckets, water plants or pots or whatever. And then of course in an hour, the reservoir is full again. And that's just a small reservoir. We're going to build a 4,000 gallon reservoir next. That's going to be out of stone and clay on an old silo foundation. But for now, that gives you an idea of what a ram pump can do for you. Endlessly pumping, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Delivers about a gallon a minute, so that's about 1,440 gallons a day. That adds up quick. It doesn't cost anything. The water's pumping itself. Thanks for watching the Farmers Receives Network. Alright, so I uh, got the overflow issue straightened out. This is the barrel. It's a 55 or 60 gallon drum, not really sure which. Uh, I just have this uh, garbage bag over it with some weights to keep uh, dust, dirt, and our lovely resident birds poop out. 
These are uh, barn swallows. Might as well show you these guys. Little babies. Peep, 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 peep. Yeah, so uh, anyway, I'm glad to have them. They're eating tons of insects. <laughs> Eat away. There's plenty of them this time of year. So uh, this is the end of that delivery line that we walked up. And it comes up and goes in and goes all the way to the bottom of the barrel. And so that off of that T, there'll be a valve over here with garden hose fittings or whatever type of fittings. Same on the other side and other various locations around the farm. As time goes on, I'll add in uh, standing hydrants all over. Um, anyway, so it brings the coldest, freshest water in to the bottom of the barrel, purges the warmest water off the top of the barrel. That comes out the overflow here. That overflow, eventually, I'm gonna get a sealed barrel. This is not a sealed barrel, but eventually I'll get a sealed barrel. That overflow will actually come out and go up to the peak of the barn and then drop down into a tromp hammer here and produce compressed air for aeroponic gardens, for water aeration, uh, et cetera, et cetera. It won't be high pressure, it'll probably be around eight PSI, maybe six PSI, but it'll be good for aeration stuff um, or for stirring uh, uh, nutrient mixes, uh, for aerating compost teas, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, it'll come back out of that tromp hammer a couple of feet below the tromp hammer's input elevation come back up somewhere around the height of this door frame and then it'll drop down through another tube and that'll go down over a small turbine and that'll uh, hopefully, uh, if my calculations are correct, produce somewhere around 40 to 60 watts uh, which will be able to run the Raspberry Pi for monitoring the farm and the wireless router and that kind of stuff. But uh, these are all upcoming projects. It's going to take time to engineer and assemble it all. But the basic setup is in and uh, Right now, the overflow is delivering water down to the roosters in a chicken tractor. Let's see if I can steady my camera hand here. Yeah, I think you can see the stream there, yeah. So it's flushing their water bucket and giving them fresh spring water. And you can see they're drinking from it regularly. They're very happy to have that nice fresh spring water. So anyway, um, that's the full tour up to now. I uh, guess I should give you a quick view of the farm here from while we're up here. You can see we cleared out a lot of rose bushes over in there. I don't know if you saw any of the previous videos, but this was all rose bush underneath here, all the way back to there. Many thanks again to my friend Matt with the tractor. Very much appreciated to have that. It was a huge help. Uh, this brush pile will be burned once we uh, acquire necessary permits and that sort of thing. Nice rainy day. Burn that off. And uh, on we go. The electric fence line that you see here will be bumped over to the back and that's why you saw those two uh, two inch sleeves there. there will be an inside road and an outside road on the electric fence for access to the farm territory. Um, anyway, that's the uh, ram pump installed and delivering water up top. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you'll uh, come join us again.